Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto with comedian Rob Bebenick. What inspired you to get into the comedy world? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I was very good at anything else. Uh, it was just, it's more fun than other jobs. So, yeah, I don't know. It's the only job where you can get up at like two and that's like really early for work. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's just fun, I guess. And what was it like growing up in Kitchener? Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Kitchener? I have. Yeah, they have the um, market there. The, the market? Yeah, this isn't it St. Jacob's? Saint... Oh, you're thinking of St. Jacob's Farmer's Saint Market. Jacob. Yeah. Yeah, that's in Waterloo. Well, it's outside. Of, it's in St. Jacob's. Oh. Yeah, so that's why it's called St. Jacob's. Oh. Farmer's Market. But is that, that's close to it's Kitchener. Close to Kitchener. Okay. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm being, being mean. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's, there's Mennonites there. It's pretty interesting. Okay. <laughs> they don't, uh, it, we can make fun of them. They're not ever going to watch this because they can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's, there's a weird divide between Kitchener and Waterloo. Like they hate each other for no reason. Um, there's an imaginary line that divides the two towns, but one's like a rich, pompous town, and the other one's like a blue-collar, working-class town. I'm from the blue-collar, working-class town. We have self-respect. Eat at Waterloo. <laughs> and has that helped you with your comedy? Do you bring Kitchener into it very often? Uh, I, I don't know. I suppose inadvertently I do. Uh, you kind of always represent in a way where you came from, but I don't know if it was Kitchener so much as an upbringer, whatever it is. Like I. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> long, long way to go, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Awesome. And when you decided you wanted to be a stand-up comic, how did you go about pursuing it? Uh, I don't know. Like, I went to, uh, I went to the Humber program mm -hmm. and then uh, when I was 18 and got drunk a bunch and dropped out of school. Uh, didn't do comedy for like six years. And then I was actually working as a carpenter out in Vancouver and I was like, I hate this. Uh, it rains too much. So I was like, I'm going back to school. And then I started, you know, doing comedy again. And here I am. What is the most challenging aspect of it? Um, I think just being like just being a Canadian entertainer is is difficult enough. So like, I, I guess the challenge is is recognizing that there is a ceiling here in Canada and just being like, well, if I really want to do this and exclusively this and I kind of have to leave, but I like living in Canada and I don't want to live in the States. Nothing against it, it's just I don't want to be there. Uh, I like it here. So yeah, that's challenging. It, um, so you kind of have to go down different different avenues to find out how to how to make it without, you know, going and leaving the country. So I think that's that's challenging is you know, accepting the fact that we live in Canada and nobody wants to pay people a lot of money to entertain them. Mm -hmm. And what is the most rewarding aspect of being a comedian here in Canada? The chicks, for sure. <laughs> no, uh, not at all. I think the most rewarding thing is, is just um, doing what you want as opposed to doing what other people think you should do. Um, so even though you're kind of poor at times, it's you're doing what you want and you're happy as opposed to somebody who's slugging it out in an office every day being like, oh, I'm going to kill myself soon, but i got to wait for these next 11 paychecks. So it's just, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, that's the rewarding part is, is being happy. And what's next for you? What are your goals for the future? Um, I write a lot. I'm trying to get different uh, sitcoms finished and made or like movie scripts made. So I think I'm constantly trying to write and better myself in that regard. Um, I, <laughs> some of it's just not appropriate at all. <laughs> and, and I realize that after I make it. Uh, like me and my buddy wrote this entire season of a show called Whore Cops um, about bicycle cops uh, who are bike cops during the day and prostitutes at night. Um, which is a brilliant idea, yeah. but uh, it's kind of it's hard to get a network to be like, yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll make fun of cops and and glorify glorify prostitution. <laughs> so that's that's one of the challenges. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and your work online? Um, I have a website, uh, robbebenick.com. I should know that better than I did. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I work for Yak Yaks. I'm on the that website as well. Um, 
I'm doing shows with Steve-O from Jackass in a, in a couple of weeks, so that'll be interesting. I don't know what he's going to do. He's probably just going to like staple his nuts to a chair or something, and I'll be like, wicked, I was a part of that. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, and best of luck with your upcoming shows and projects. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.